Hello, my name is Lewis Talley with InSource Solutions, and this is the second video in a series of general introductory videos highlighting the use of various VMware technology in a traditional Wonderware architecture. This video covers a brief introduction and overview of FT. So, what is FT? FT, or fault tolerance, is a protection mechanism for virtual machines. It is designed to provide continuous availability for virtual machines running on different hosts, ensuring 100% uptime of mission critical applications. It works by synchronizing the virtual CPU transactions that happen in the guest operating system across dedicated connections between ESX or ESXi host, as shown in the picture. It differs from HA or high availability in that it is a completely seamless transfer. So there's no reboot required. It's an instant failover. So everything that's happening on a VM that's running on host A is being replayed in a replay file that happens on host B. So let's look at our setup that we have for today's demonstration. So I have some traditional pieces of Wonderware architecture in place, the Wonderware Historian, and the Wonderware InTouch HMI package. The focal point will be the InTouch HMI package as indicated by blue in this slide. Blue indicates that a virtual machine is FT protected. So when we get into the vSphere client, you'll see that there as well. So there's two images for the purposes of, of today's demonstration running in a HA enabled cluster. Now, in order for FT to work, it has to be in an HA cluster. So these are specific setup requirements on the VMware side of things that we're not really covering today. So these four hosts are all in the same cluster running these two guest operating systems. So let's look at some key points. For today's setup, no Wonderware redundancy was used in either of the products. So the historian or in touch, there is no redundancy, no IO redundancy, no historical data capture redundancy, anything. So just as the previous video where we, we talked about HA, in a traditional non-system platform architecture, the Wonderware historian pulls for data. Data is not pushed, it's being pulled by the historian. So for this demonstration, I'm going to show you that there's absolutely zero data loss. The transfer was completely seamless or bunkless between the different hosts. So we're going to simulate a host failure. I've, I've outlined, and I'll upload this, but I've outlined the requirements for FT. Uh, they can be found on the VMware website. The biggest gotcha is that it only supports one virtual CPU. So that's a fairly large limitation given that one virtual CPU doesn't typically provide enough hardware support for modern operating systems that would run large implementations. So it it's, it would be fine for smaller implementations. It would be great for like a D8, a Wonderware DA server that wasn't very busy, or even a small in-touch application. So there are, the list of, of requirements is, is much more exhaustive than what we'll cover here, but the big gotcha there is, is support for only one vCPU. So we're now in the vSphere client, and as displayed here, you can, set, you can see that the WinXP image is fault tolerant protected. So if we open the console, you'll notice it's running the InTouch Reactor demo on host one. Its secondary location is host two. So let's go look at host two and see the secondary. Open the console. So you can see everything that I do is being replayed on the secondary. If I change screens in the InTouch application, it changes on the secondary. Notice the secondary is read-only. Everything that's happening is happening in both places, except for I can't physically make any changes. The secondary is read-only. So if we look at the historian, you can see that I'm capturing the reactor level and we're just looking at a live trend 
over the last five minutes. So to prove that the transfer is completely bumpless, I'm going to shut down one of the hosts. Since WinXP is running in its primary configuration on host 1, I'm going to simulate a hard failure by pulling the power cord on host 1. So let's do that now. I've pulled the power cord. So you'll notice console sessions are going to switch here momentarily, but you'll notice that there's absolutely zero disruption in data collection. So data is still being pulled. You'll now notice that the virtual machine is running on host 2 and its backup is host 4. Host 1 is still powered down, but you can see here from the 5 minute graph that there was no disruption in data, giving us the continuous availability that fault tolerance is designed to achieve. So quickly recapping, we talked about FT or fault tolerance as a mechanism to provide continuous availability for virtual machines whereby no data loss ever happens and we saw it in action. Thank you for your time.